hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we are going to solve question right which has appeared in iit jam 2020 examination this is a two mark question and an mcq type of question this is based on sequence and series of real numbers right so here uh, in this question they are telling you that for the solution here so they are uh, telling you that we have s as the sum of convergent series so let's write it down the given convergent series summation a n where n varies from 1 to infinity right its sum is equal to s that is given to us in the question right so they are saying then the series uh, this one summation tn where they have defined tn to be like this what is the sum of this particular series right so we assume that we assume that this sum is equal to l summation tn n varies from 1 to infinity that is equal to l and in this case or in fact we could call it capital t right say then we have to calculate then in the question they are asking what is this t right so uh, in order to calculate this t which is the summation of t n where n varies from 1 to infinity you could open up the terms t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on like this right and according to the definition here so if you see what is t n t n is given to be a n in the question you could see it is given to be a n plus a n plus 1 plus a n plus 2 a n plus a n plus 1 plus a n plus 2 so that means if you substitute n is equal to 1 you would get t1 which is equal to a1 in in place of n you have to write 1 so it is a1 plus a2 plus a3 similarly you could have t2 it could be a2 plus a3 plus a4 right similarly t3 would be a3 plus a4 plus a5 and we could calculate as many terms as we would like in this t series so we can substitute all of these values here in equation number one so substituting all the values in equation one so what do we have here we have t is equal to the value of t1 is a1 plus a2 plus a3 right the value of t2 is a2 plus a3 plus a4 the value of t3 is a3 plus a4 plus a5 and we could keep on adding these terms to infinity right however for generalization we are just taking the three terms okay so you could open up the bracket so you see you have only one a1 you have only one a2 but you have three sorry you have two a2 right so it is 2a2 and then you have 3a3 and then the what would be the next term? Ne the next term would be a4 plus a5 plus a6 right and so on. So you see how many a4 are there? a4 would be again 3 and again a5 would again be 3 and so on. So that means all the terms here appearing after or from a3 they all have 3 in common so you could write a3 plus a4 plus a5 and so on like this so that means uh, now can you write all of this as s is it equal to summation n varying from 1 to infinity a n no in fact this is equal to summation a n where n varies from 3 to infinity so in order to make this as equal to s right what we have to do we have to add two terms to this summation so what are those a1 and a2 so let's do that quickly so here what we do in order to make 3a1 on the left hand side we add two of them so it would be 2a1 plus a1 plus 2a2 plus all the terms remaining they would be as such right so next we so this club to make a 3a1 next we have 2a2 that means we will add 1a2 on the left hand side so it would be 2 times a2 plus a2 and on the left hand side it is t plus 2a1 plus a2 right in order to make all both the sides equal and rest of the terms they would come as such 
so you see we have on the right hand side 3a1 plus 3a2 plus three types of all of these terms so basically you could write the, the uh, three as taking as common you so you could write a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus and so on so basically you could write this to be the summation of all the ans where n varies from 1 to infinity and you know what is this this is given to be s so you have the value of therefore the value of t plus 2a1 plus a2 that is equal to 3 times of s from here we wanted to calculate t so t would simply be equal to 3s minus 2 times a1 minus a2 so this is your answer now basically this is the so this t that represents the sum of that represents the sum of the series summation tn where n varies from 1 to infinity so it is quite obvious that the series would converge in that case only you are able to compute the sum so therefore this option a is obviously incorrect which tells us that the series diverges in fact option number c here option number c here is the correct option right I'm sorry not C if you see your solution what do we have here we have this as the final answer t minus uh, t is equal to 3s minus 2a1 minus a2 so that is your option D so 3s minus 2a1 minus a2 so I hope you have understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching